Hello, hello, my love bugs. Thank you so much for joining me here today at Kara's Love Techniques. I am Coach Kara, and we are here with another relationship video. Actually, this is a requested video, and I know it is a little late. Um, I do apologize. However, I cannot do a video unless I feel led, you know, I feel compelled. I have to feel it in my spirit, if you know what I mean, okay? But hopefully I deliver and um, kind of answer uh, the question that you had. And that question is, how can two people with trust issues have a successful, healthy relationship? Okay, so let's, let's just start there. So here's the reality of it. All of us have some level of a trust issue, especially if you have had, you know, one or more relationships, okay? So there will be some level of insecurity when it comes into going into a new situation or trying to restart an old one, all right? So here's, here's the thing. Before you can set foot on to this journey, and I think this is where the fear lies, and that is, can I trust myself, you know? Can I trust myself to make wiser decisions or to make better choices in relationships so I don't end up wounded or having to endure such great pain? That is the question. Do you trust yourself to be in a new situation? Because see, it starts there. It, all, it always starts with you. Have you done the healing? Have you done the introspection? Are you secure now or more secure with yourself do you feel confident enough to want to be able to be vulnerable enough to trust okay and with that you have to be willing to want to trust you just can't go into the situation and say oh i'm going to see what happens you know and try to make no 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 you have to be willing to want to trust someone but it starts with you do you trust yourself and I ask that question because it's going to make the difference in the long term. And by that I mean, you know, just say you you've been dating someone and you're three dates in, and this person, you know, they reveal that they've been driving with a suspended license for over six months. Okay, Let's just start there. Do you trust yourself in that moment to wake up to make a wise decision? Is that a white, yellow, or red flag? Can this person allow you to feel secure within the next six months? Do you see yourself trusting this person within six months? See, these are the things that you need to ask yourself or expect. Because those are the challenges you're going to face. Although it's a minor one and it's a very simple one. If that's a red flag, love. Run. Buy it, run. Run. It's this person right here more than likely is not going to take you where you need to go. Okay, so just despite that he or she may be sexy as hell and you may be greatly attracted, but this isn't the one for you. You don't want to start that again, okay? You want to start someplace positive and, and you, to where you can feel secure, you know, safe with an individual versus starting off wrong. No, we don't want to do that. So trust starts with yourself. Once you do that, and both of you need to have a discussion about some of your major concerns are what it is that triggers your anxiety or make you fearful about opening up and wanting to trust someone. You know, you really need to have a deep, long conversation about that. If I'm going for five hours, are you going to blow my phone up? You know, I need you to feel secure enough to believe that, hey, I'm missing you too, but I'm a little busy. And no worries, when we get together, it'll be magical. You know, you need to be able to reassure each other. For the most part, mirror each other's behavior. You know, the more candid you both are, you become more vulnerable to each other. And when you're vulnerable, you begin to take more proactive measures in your relationship or your love journey and began to prove to each other that, hey, we're both doing this, you know, communicating properly, not leaving someone just hanging, you know, with the what ifs. And, but then that's just something that you're gonna have to also work on in yourself, just to be able to trust a person that wherever they are, whatever they're doing, that 
they're not being disloyal or they're not, you know, doing something that's going to make you concerned. You see what I'm saying? So again, that comes back to trusting yourself, having faith that things are going to work out, thinking positively. That's going to come, it's going to have to come from both of you. And it's a lot of work, you know, hell, a relationship is a lot of work. It's only designed for certain types of people. You have to know what it is that you're supposed to do and not do, but that's okay. That's why I'm here to coach you through this. All right. So it's going to take a great deal of work from both of you. And it's not going to just happen overnight. It really isn't. You know, another key element is acceptance. And you may be wondering, well, what does acceptance have to do? It has a lot to do with it. Because as long as both of you accept each other in different areas to a great capacity, you're less likely to be concerned and to trust that this person is going to be, be you know, be what it is that you need. That, that's that level of fulfillment in a relationship. So if they're slacking in a couple of areas, you're not comfortable with it. You don't really condone what it is that they do or whatever that is. You know, you're not quite sure how long you can deal with that sort of thing. Well, that's going to become a problem. It's going to seriously and severely interfere with your your trusting, your trust process. So you want to make sure that both of you accept each other on a deep level. Not 100%, but enough to where you're, there's comfort and you don't feel insecure or there's very little doubt. You know, the kind of doubt that you can say, huh? I mean, yeah, she does this, but, you know, I don't really like it. But, you know, it's just something I, I can just live with, you know, that sort of thing. You want to feel comfortable. You want to be with someone who makes you feel safe emotionally. You want to feel comfortable. All right. But how do you know when you really began to trust? You'll know this when the worry begins to dissipate from both of you. As time goes on, you begin to care less what it is your person doing or whatever the trigger is. You're no longer experiencing anxiety to a great level or, you know, becoming jealous, whatever your issue or your concern is. As, as time goes on and that worry begins to dissipate, well, then that's when your trust will grow. Okay? But it's a process. Depending on the person, if both of you are putting in the effort, this can go... This process, it can work pretty quickly. It just really depends on the both of you and your vulnerability, your candidness, and your dedication to do so. Okay? Well, that is all for now. Hopefully, this has been insightful for you. If you need further consultation, reach out to me. The information will be listed down below. But that is all for now, my love. Until next time.